So, I've, uh, I've made the seating box out of plywood, 12 mil ply. I've got cutouts here to take the springs because my feet don't need as much space as me butt. That goes that end. I had the plywood lying around. I wasn't sure how it was going to work out weight-wise, but I've just sat it on the scales. And it's uh, tipping the scales at just a smidge over five kilos. So feels really rigid, just letting the glue go off, screwed and glued together. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that, as long as I fit in it. So, how am I going to hold the body on? We're going to use rivnuts. nuts. I'm aware some of you won't have seen rivnuts nuts before. What they'll do, they'll basically put a thread in that hole when you can't get it the other side of it. So you can just screw a bolt straight in, nice and secure. So you can buy this tool, you can buy big pliers. I've got them, they're about 80 quid. Bloody useless. This one, about six quid on Amazon, eBay. What you do, screw your rivnut nut onto the end until it's flush. Put it in the hole. Couple of spanners. One holds the body down there and one goes on the nut. And then you tighten this nut up and this collapses the rivnut nut inside the tube and tightens the serrated outside against the, uh, the tube. There we go. You can feel it collapsing and then it goes in a second. And feel it go. There we go, it's gone tight. So that's completely collapsed. here it's completely collapsed this threaded portion here back onto the collar here and where that serrated is that's gripping on the skin so they're designed to collapse in and grip slacken off the bolt there and now we go we've got a thread in a one and a half mil thick, 1.6 mil thick steel frame, we've got a thread that we can now bolt the tub into the chassis, bolt the body onto the chassis, bolt anything onto the chassis. And like Meccano, you can take it off and change it anytime you want, easy. So give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe and all of this stuff. See you next time. Just been round my mate's yard and we've pressed in these phosphor bronze bushes into the uh, pit bike wheels so they're ready to go on and the other thing found this little gem that if I cut this out here could potentially be front radiator surround and then maybe the other end if I cut that surround out could be the bulkhead but the other end of the bonnet it's an old uh, garden trolley On the torque converter, these webs come across here and when it sits on, we need to have clearance for the chain to go off the chain wheel down. It's quite a, it's a 72, 72 tooth or 72 sprocket from a 10. So we need to have clearance for this to go down and clear the sprocket. So I've just ground them away with that there. 
in the electric drill. Five minutes. With the bolts for the torque converter plate, I've put a bit of, bit of blue on it. And I'm just gonna go in there. And then you see, I'll tighten that up in a second. And then I can get all this here to line up with that sprocket there. And when the chain one goes down here, across, it will clear the um, it will clear the webs. Fingers crossed. Don't know if you'll be able to hear much today. It's a bit windy out here. I don't like welding when it's windy. What I've done: a couple of one-inch box sections on there. Cut them on the inside into. angle iron effect so I can get the get at the nuts to bolt these down so we've got all the um, steering welded on we've got lock to lock one turn on this go-kart steering wheel off eBay so that's all set up there the, um, on the back end we've uh, tack welded the engine plate on there so that's hopefully in the right position. Mind it all up. Paddles arrived, so I'm going to start. Uh, I've got some clamps for you. I've been clamping everything down. I'm going to start making a subframe to hold the uh, the accelerator and brake pedal. See how I get on with that. So just for effect, I've uh, mounted the engine on the back. That's all going to line up pretty well with the sprockets when we uh, tighten them all up, get the chain shortened. Uh, on the suspension, I've found when I compress the suspension, it bumps up against here, so I need to fettle a bit out of there, so it doesn't, uh, doesn't foul on that. Yesterday, while um, putting the bearings in my back wheels, my mate had this uh, garden wheelbarrow trolley thing, the four-wheel trolley that you uh, you drag your plant pots around in and uh, your garden waste when you get old. So, in the spirit of cycle carts, I think that's got the beginnings of the bulkhead and the radiator. There we go. Can you see it? <laughs> 